Hi everyone, I just wanted to show you guys something new that I've done to my hair. Please excuse the fuzziness that I have. My hair gets really fuzzy really quickly, even if I cover it at night. So I did what most call Marley twist, Havana twist. I guess in this case you can just call them Marley twist because I did not use any Havana hair. So I've only used Marley twist hair or Marley braid hair to do these twists on myself. And I did them using the invisible root method where you basically split your box or a small section of hair in half and you use the Marley hair in the middle and then you twist and then twist in the opposite direction. I'll put the link to my previous video where I did the chunky Marley Havana twist and you can see it's the same exact method. In this case, I just did the boxes smaller because I wanted a fuller look and I also wanted my twist to be smaller. So with that being said, I believe I have 60, 60 twists in. The hair is very lightweight. You would be surprised at like how much hair I actually used. I did this with four packs of hair <laughs> which I know sounds kind of crazy because a lot of people end up using like eight nine packs but my case is a little special so my natural hair is really fine it's not the thickest at all and I just had to uh, I had to go a little outside of the box to get this look so along the hairline in the front as well as the back you would notice that some of my twists are a lot smaller than other twists for instance these two twists this one is obviously thinner than this one which is fine for me I mean my thing was not to have the perfect twist if I wanted that I could have just gone to someone that does this professionally for a living I don't do hair for a living, but I do experiment with my own hair and I love to try out new things and see if I like them on myself or not. So these twists had lasted me throughout the length of my quick getaway, which was about four days. <laughs> but um, I was actually really surprised at how much I enjoyed having these twists in. Number one, I did not have to fuss around with my natural curls which was a time saver, an energy saver. It was so much less stressful for me because my curls pretty much have a mind of their own. And in humid climates, they tend to act a little weird. If they're not in the mood that day, they'll be more frizzy than curly. I'll have knots and tangles and it's just not a good thing. So I figured I'll try this out since I was only going for a few days and I really, really love them. And I actually wore them in different styles on each day, sometimes two different styles in one day. So I just wanted to show you guys what styles I did and you might want to try them out for yourself when you have twists or braids in your hair. So um, I will just show you the two different packages of hair that I did use. The hair is not there, but I do have the label so you can at least see the name. So I had used this uh, super kinky bulk Nubian twist hair. I used this hair in the other video as well, the chunky Marley twist. I like this hair because it actually comes with two bundles of hair. You see those little hooky things. So in my opinion, when compared to the other packs of hair that they had at the beauty supply store, one of these bundles was pretty much the same amount that would come in one of the other packs. Now this pack was $7.99 at my beauty supply store, whereas the other packs, some of them were $4.99 or $5.99. So I figured, well, why not pay an extra $2 to get a second bundle within the same pack instead of buying multiple pack set for $5.99. So I use this uh, hair in the color four because my natural hair, my natural hair color 
is not black. It's also not really brown. It's like a dark auburn, wants to be black but isn't color. And then my roots, which is my natural color, is like a sandy brown. Some spots even have streaks of blonde. <laughs> and there's basically no color out there that matches my natural hair color. Trust me, I have looked for years. There isn't one. It just isn't. So unfortunately, I have to use henna to darken my hair or alter the color of my natural hair to help me to match it to the synthetic hair that I use. So with that, I just had to let you guys know that background as to why I use the color four because it is relatively a dark brown. It does look somewhat black when it's compared to my natural hair color, but um, I can get away with it. So that's that. And then I use this Afro Twist braid and the color, I actually had two packs of this hair. So one pack was F1B slash Bug, which I believe stands for Burgundy, whatever. And then the other pack was like, I believe the color was 99 or 99J. I'm sorry, don't kill me. I can't remember exactly what it was. I thought I saved that pack, but I didn't. But I do know that the number was 99. And yeah. So this pack was, I believe, $4.99 at my beauty supply. So I will show you one strand of the hair from the F1B slash burgundy, as well as one strand from the 99 or 99J color. So I swear to you, I stayed in that store for about 10 minutes comparing the packs of hair to try to figure out what was the real difference. And I could not really tell what difference it was in color between the two packs, but I will say that there was a difference in the thickness or I guess the density of the hair, which was pretty interesting. So this strand here was the F1B burgundy slash burgundy color. And this one was the 99 or 99J, whichever it was called. If you can really tell this side looks way thicker. At the same time, it looks a bit straighter. This side has more crinkle. I'll just bring it a little closer. Other than that, there was no difference. So what I did was I just got one of each and I figured I'll kind of mix them and, you know, do it that way. I will say that I'm actually glad that I did that. Um, the thicker strands, I was able to just use this one piece for some of the twist in my head. Whereas I know a lot of people use two uh, strands, so they'll use like these two together and make their twist. I did not do that because it was too much hair for the little square or little section that I had. And I just, I didn't want to put too much weight on my natural hair. I'm not trying to go bald for a hairstyle. The whole point in doing this is to protect the hair, give your natural hair a break, and not to cause any other future damage. So I will say that I really did like this hair, the Afro Twist braid hair. I will be repurchasing that for the future. I also picked up some of these little hair jewels. I'm looking in the mirror over here just so you know. So yeah, I kind of mixed in, mixed the colors because I was wearing a lot of different colors during the trip. I was wearing like a lot of red, yellow, and green. Um, some nights I wore my silver jewelry. Sometimes I wore the gold jewelry. So I figured, you know what, I'll throw all of them in there and then they'll always match whatever I'm wearing. So I just popped those on. It was pretty easy to put on and take off with no problem. So this is what the hair looks like all down and brought towards me. And they come at about my waist. So I'll just stand up with it. I did not burn the ends of this hair. All I did was I made sure that the tips were feathered towards the bottom and I literally would twist all the way down for all of them. And I only had maybe one or two of them unravel on me. 
and then if the ends looked like really raggedy then I would just kind of snip it like this one is pretty raggedy now <laughs> so I would just kind of snip it and I dipped the very very tips in hot hot water just to kind of help further seal them in and that was it it took me about eight hours to do my head I also did my mom's hair the day before it came out so cute on her and it took me about 11 hours to do hers because I'm more used to the way my hands are to be held when I'm doing my uh, invisible root twist versus doing it on someone else. It's just a, a different point of view. It takes some getting used to, but I will say that I learned a few things while doing her hair that I was actually able to see. And then once I incorporated those things into doing my own, it actually helped me to get through them a lot faster. So, so now are there any cons to having your hair twisted or in braids? Um, I mean, the only real con that I have is that my scalp is really itchy. It's not itchy from the hair. That much I know. I did clean this hair with apple cider vinegar and water, as well as shampoo, which I made myself, <laughs> and as well as conditioned it. And I also prepped this hair with my shea butter and mango butter mixture with a little bit of water. So the hair itself does not irritate me. Um, it's not irritating my scalp. If anything, I believe my scalp is just doing what it always does if I go past day five without washing it. It starts to itch, become a little flaky. So I do apologize if you see what looks like dry patches or flaky patches in my hair. It's because my scalp is just so itchy. And it's it does feel pretty dry, although I've used coconut oil on it. I guess it just needs to be washed. My hair is like very diva-like. So I have to deal with it and learn how to get around it. Um, I will not wash my hair with these twists in only because of the type of hair that I have. My hair is really fine. It's really curly. And you can already see how much fuzz I have. I can only imagine what it'll look like once I add water to it and it starts to revert back to its original curl. Um, so for that reason, I will not be <laughs> washing my hair with these. I will take these out and clean my hair and let my hair air dry, stretch it out and redo it in these twists again because I just love them that much. I will also reuse this same hair. There's nothing wrong with this hair. All I have to do is just clean it again, prep it the same way I prepped it before and just reuse it. I didn't burn the ends, I didn't cut the ends, I didn't do anything crazy to this hair so there's really nothing wrong with it if I want to just switch the color I can do that I would just have to buy new packs of hair but I actually like this color with the burgundy mixed in it's something different for me and it's not too outrageous it doesn't look too unrealistic and I like it so with that being said I hope I have answered a lot of your questions um, I hope I taught you something new that you didn't know before. And if you do have any questions, even after I provide all of the information to you, I will gladly put that information into either the description box or if you just post a question, I'll just get back to you with an answer. Um, one last, last thing, <laughs> just before I go, for the front of my hair, the edges, which are now fuzzy again for me changing the hair around. I did use plain water, <clears throat> excuse me, as well as the Lotta Body Coconut and Shea Oils Shape Me Custard Jelly. This is my favorite when it comes down to laying down the edges or if I wanted to wear my hair in some kind of slicked style, this stuff does work for me. It has been working and I really don't have any complaints. It doesn't flake. It doesn't give too hard of a hold. It gives a nice hold. Um, obviously, the more product that you add, the better hold it will give you. But I really don't have any complaints about this stuff. And this is actually my second container. So with that being said, I will close out. And I wish you all well in your journeys with your twists or braids. And if you have any questions, just hit me up. 
and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you. Bye. Mwah.